Welcome to Sunshine Cathedral's Queer God Squad. It's Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. I am Reverend Dr. Darrell Watkins, the Senior Minister here at Sunshine Cathedral. I am Reverend Dr. Robert Griffin, the Executive Minister. Faith and religion can be complicated for the LGBTQ plus community. Surveys show that evangelical faith is the justification for the greatest attacks on the LGBTQ plus community. The Queer God Squad is going to explore our religious community. Let's explore the big news of the day and what it means to you. I am Reverend Dr. Ann Atwell, the Minister of Connections. This is live and then we are available on demand. We are available on all smart televisions and your favorite social media. Surveys show that religious faith and church are the main cause of trauma in the LGBTQ plus community. At Sunshine Cathedral, we're here to tell you that you are God's miracle, not God's mistake. This is the Sunshine Cathedral perspective. HBO's We're Here and Sasha Valor take on Bible Belt Hate. In March 2023, Tennessee's governor signed a pioneering bill restricting drag shows, part of a wave of anti-LGBTQ plus legislation across the country. Though a federal judge ruled the law unconstitutional a few months later, it ignited widespread anti-drag sentiment, impacting small towns like Murfreesboro. Just weeks later, HBO's We're Here brought its fourth season to Murfreesboro, showcasing the queer community and the healing power of drag. The new hosts, Sasha Valor, Priyanka, and Jada Essence Hall, with Latrice Royale joining for the final episodes, arrived in full regalia to coach local queer people and allies for a drag showcase. This season also spans Oklahoma, another major battleground for LGBTQ rights. Unlike previous seasons, the queens spend weeks getting to know the small communities their drag daughters call home, staging a series of smaller drag shows regardless of local opposition. In Tennessee, Valor mentors Norm, a longtime LGBTQ advocate and part-time performer from Murfreesboro, who feels responsible for the town's pride cancellation. In Oklahoma, Valor helps Jess, a recently out transgender woman, through deep conversations and heartfelt performances, the queens and their protégés deliver powerful messages of resilience, hope, and support, standing proudly together at the end of each show. Now, I gotta tell you, I had never heard of this show <laughs> until probably about a month ago. I was telling a friend of mine that sometimes just before I go to sleep, I have a little anxiety because there's just so much stuff going on in the world. It's like all this stuff starts running through your head and oh my gosh, what if he's elected again? Just horrid, awful things, anxiety. And she said, did you ever hear of We're Here? <laughs> and I said that I had, and she says, you gotta watch this and watch it before you go to bed. <laughs> because when you see the drag queens coming into these towns, these small rural towns, particularly similar to what I grew up in, um, and then putting on these wonderful shows. I love this show. Now I had to move ahead to watch season four because <laughs> of this story, but I did. And I just, I love what they do. I affirm what they do. And can you imagine having something like that when we were younger? to see these drag queens walking through the center of, uh, of our towns and affirming people. Um, they put themselves out there, really, in order to affirm the value of all people. I can't say enough about this show. <laughs> I love it. There was, I found uh, it's, it's, um, it's doppelganger, I guess, uh, in the UK uh, a year or so ago. Okay. But, but I had no, this is season four, I didn't know anything about it. Uh huh. But yeah. last year I found, and I don't know which one came first, we copy each other a lot, the US mm -hmm. and UK right. entertainment. Right. But uh, it was the same thing. It was these uh, British queens going to all these small industrial towns, uh -huh. mostly like in the north of, of England. And the same thing, they, these hard, uh, hard working, uh, blue collar people. Uh -huh. Uh, or, or these uh, members of athletic clubs, you know, they have these soccer clubs and whatever. And so just these like mm, kind of people, and here comes these drag queens, uh -huh. and they perform in the town square to, to draw up attention. And then sure enough, some closet person or someone who always wanted to be to, to be a queen or, or somebody who's who's like a mm, kind of dad but got a gay kid and they yeah, want to do better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, and they be, they prepare to, and they do the show. And uh, by the end, you know, you just see families loving on each other and mm -hmm. the community coming together. It's just this miracle. And so, uh, 
so uh, yeah, so now I'm new. Uh -huh. at this, I'm like, wait, yeah. this is season four. Where have I been? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I watch I watch Max, uh, HBO. But anyway, so now I've got to get caught up on it, especially since Latrice Royal is a friend of ours Ooh. and is <laughs> yeah, actually uh -huh. housed now. Like this is her own base, the Sunshine Cathedral. Uh, uh, Latrice and Latrice's husband, Christopher Hamlin. So we are, uh, I'm, I'm getting caught up. I'm, I think I'm obligated to, but I also, <laughs> I also want to. And, uh, you know, Arkansas, Tennessee, Texas, Florida, others. Mm -hmm. It is so discouraging that people continue, that states continue, that politicians still take a, take a member, a, a group of citizens yeah. and use them as a wedge issue uh, to demonize them, to dehumanize them, uh, to silence them, to make them sort of character villains and you gotta, you know, uh, be against those villains. It's, it, it is unworthy of an advanced country. It is unworthy uh, of, the, of the 21st century. We ought to be uh, above that, especially in a place that prides itself, that has a myth of liberty and freedom uh, and inclusivity and welcome. Uh, let, let parents decide what their kids can see. Uh, let people perform the way they want to perform. Uh, let people talk about their families in school and, and, and tell you who they are. Uh, that just seems basic. Yeah. And that we are uh, promoting people uh, being against and and trying to uh, block those kinds of basic freedoms and rights and expressions. It, it still makes me uh, sad. I was asked last year for Pride to uh, preach at a church in Tennessee, and when I agreed, the ban was still effect, and I and I was asked to preach in drag, and I agreed, and I went to Nashville. Uh, and I preached at the Unity Church of Nashville. Uh, I was invited by uh, the Reverend Christina Garza. Uh, I, I don't know that she's, I think she recently uh, left there. Uh, not because of that. Uh, <laughs> it was a whole year later, you know. Uh, but she, um, it went over very well. And luckily for me, because I'm like, I took friends, I'm like, bring ba bail money. I don't know how this is going to go. And, uh, but luckily, like the week before, the judge overturned the thing, so I'm like, whoo! But, uh, but I was, but you know, you have to take those kinds of risks to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, defiance to to, to make a, a point or whatever. But it went very well, and uh, we talked about the the Book of Esther, and uh, mm -hmm. all of that. Okay. So it was it was it was great. But that that is necessary in the 21st century. That just wearing a particular costume to celebrate pride, uh, to talk about the Bible, uh, that that could be in any way controversial or dangerous. Uh, that that is that's where we are, mm. and that's why we have to do what we do, because there are still people being hurt and demonized, and we've got to give a counter narrative, and a safe place, and uh, and we've got to be on the side of of the uh, downtrodden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of reflecting related to this is that uh, you know for many of us we grew up during that period we got the pamphlets of uh, when the homosexual comes to church or when <laughs> HIV and AIDS shows up in your workplace. Mm. And this got me thinking, when the drag queens show up in your town square, mm, you know, okay. and it's just one of those reminders that we're still having to, to show up and be present for a lot of people right. who are not able to be out of the closet, who are not able to be out of their medical status, and yet it is the drag queens once again, yep. like Stonewall, mm -hmm. standing up and standing out and saying, here we are, and we would not be denied our place in society. Uh, and that voice and that message just carries across. It's, it's like dropping the rock in the water. It, it's a ripple Ripple. effect. Mm -hmm. And so uh, kudos to these folks. I just, I was picturing my little hometown, Troy, Alabama, yep. in the downtown square and having Latrice and gang walk out of a bus uh, to perform in this little country in downtown square. Uh, university town though it may be, I'm quite sure it would turn a lot of heads and stop a lot of cars. And I just really would imagine the impact that we have on that community to this day. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, so kudos to them, kudos to the show, nothing but the best for them, uh, and keep the ripple effect going. Yes, right. <laughs> I, I think they uh, they should also make a stop in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. Uh, <laughs> they could, I think that's square smaller than my square. <laughs> it is. It is. And uh, they should go to Arkadelphia, Arkansas, and uh, the bus should pull up into Henderson State University. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, right in front of the fountain, because across the street from the Henderson State University is Washita Baptist University. <laughs> so they should stop at Henderson State, get out on the path, and wave at Washita Baptist, and uh, and go from there. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to one-up you all. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Brockway, Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs>
There's no universities. <laughs> no college town. No nothing like that. No, none of that. Population of about 1,500. We got a traffic light. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where they should stand? That's what it's no, I, they should stand a, at the park. We oh. have a park, okay, and they need to go to the park. <laughs> and I can guarantee you, if they went to Broadway, Pennsylvania, and they were in the park, I would fly to Pennsylvania exactly. to be there, and I would Absolutely. bring you two with me. Exactly. <laughs> That's the tour right there. That's Troy, the Arkadelphia, and, 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 and rural <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> to Pittsburgh, too. Um, Broadway, Pennsylvania is about two and a half hours north oh. and east of Pittsburgh. It's, wow. My wife, Amy, says... Brockway, Pennsylvania is in the middle of nowhere, and you have to drive through a whole lot of nothing to get there. <laughs> that's what it is. I hope the producers uh, are watching this. <laughs> we got season five for you right here. Right here, right here. <laughs> well, that's today with the Queer God Squad. We want to thank you for joining us. We're here daily at 3 p.m. to have some fun and to discuss what our LGBTQ plus community is talking about. Sunshine Cathedral is the world's largest progressive queer church. Progressive queer and God are words that naturally should go together. We're all in this together. Remember that. You are God's miracle, not God's mistake. Until next time, we are the Queer God Squad. Goodbye. <laughs>